Hey guys, it is Cal, and for today's video, I'm really excited because I get to show you my updated makeup routine and all of the new products that I've just been using and obsessed with in the new year. So if you guys wanna know how to get this really dewy, flawless, finished foundation look, just keep on watching. And if you guys wanna follow me on my Instagram, it is just at Callie Kaiser. But without further ado, I would love to get in this video, so here we go. To start our makeup look, I'm going to be taking the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I love this because it's like a moisturizer and a primer in one. I take some off the top with my finger. I love when things are moisturizers and primers in one. You can see how hydrated my skin looks already and it feels so amazing. It's non-greasy as well. Do you guys ever get underground zits? right here. Moving on to our foundation, which is the star of the video. I'm so excited to share this product with you guys. So thank you so much to Bobbi Brown for sponsoring this video. I love Bobbi Brown. I've been using Bobbi Brown probably for as long as I've gotten into makeup just because my mom has always used Bobbi Brown. So this is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation in SPF 15. And this is a full cover, oil-free shine control. I love this. This is a part of my everyday makeup routine. I've been using it for about two weeks now. This packaging is gorgeous as well. I'm just using my Beauty Blender to start the application process. This specific foundation is a skin-loving formula that just glides on seamlessly for natural, multi-dimensional mattifying coverage that's breathable and weightless. Instantly when I apply this, it always takes away my redness and just fixes all of my pigments, which I love. Since I don't set my foundation with a setting powder anymore because I have super normal to dry skin, it's amazing to have something like this where it's kind of that mattifying weightless look. And then I always bring it down to my neck like this. When I wear this foundation, it doesn't even feel like anything is on my skin, which I love. I love any foundation that makes it look like it's just my skin and that I'm actually not wearing any makeup and that's exactly what this foundation does for me. But what's really cool is you guys should know that this foundation is available in 30 different skin tone correct shades and it retails for $46 at Sephora and bobbybrowncosmetics.com. I love this stuff. Also, this packaging is absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, it's incorporated into my everyday makeup routine. I love the way it makes my skin feel. It's super weightless. The marine sugarcane and natural mineral powders just keep oil and shine in check while that vitamin E and C and shea butter infuse my skin with healthy hydration. And that's how you're able to see the high points of my face are already highlighted through the hydration of that shea butter, which I love, I'm shining. Okay, moving on, I'm just taking my By Terry under eye concealer and I just do two baby dots under my eyes. Some days I don't even wear concealer, some days I do, it just depends how I'm feeling and how much time I have before class. So I just beauty blend that in. This is a holy grail product for me. So for my contour, I'm taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the shade Dim Light. And it adds the perfect warmth to my face. Do you see that? Okay, so I just applied this, adding warmth to my face. Kind of contouring, but not really. To add a little under my nose and a little under my lip as well. But other than that, for an everyday look, I don't really contour my face heavily in a way. And then sometimes I even just like to brush that out with a big fluffy brush. Moving on to our eyebrows, I'm taking the It Brow Power Powder. <laughs> That's wordy. So this is just the It Cosmetics Brow Powder. And I'm just using a simple eyebrow brush to just kind of pencil this in. So I'm taking a spoolie first just to brush out my eyebrows and brush in the up motion just to fill in those spaces. And then after I fill in my eyebrows, I take my chapstick, because I don't have any brow gel right now to keep them in place, so chapstick is just what we have to, what it's come down to. Um, so I'm just putting chapstick on my eyebrows. One of my friends does that. And that's literally the only makeup she wears, so I stole that from her. Okay, moving on to our highlighter. This is from Bobbi Brown Highlighter in the shade Afternoon Glow. This powder is absolutely so gorgeous. It literally makes you glow from within. And look how beautiful and pigmented this formula is. It's super creamy, I love it. So I kind of just put it on the high points of my cheeks. 
I love when highlighters kind of give me that wet or dewy look and it can't you can't really tell that I put highlighter it doesn't look like a powder is on my cheekbones which I love and that's exactly what this product does for me okay and then for blush I'm moving on and I'm going to be using just the Too Faced Love Flush Justify My Love I love this packaging I like to rub some excess off of my hand and I just put this on the apples of my cheeks one thing I've been using every single day for bronzer is just the Bali Sands Becca Cosmetics Sunlit Bronzer. I love, love, love this stuff. You can kind of bring it down your neck a little too. Okay, moving on to my eyes in the Chocolate Bar Too Faced palette. I'm literally just going to be using this white powder right here just to set my eyes. Once I add a powder to set my eyelids, I'm just going to go back in with my ambient lighting powder from Hourglass. And I just like to use this as a transition shade because it kind of ties the monochromatic look that I'm going for for my everyday makeup. So we're just doing this as a transition shade and it shows up really well. As you guys can see that warmth coming through. After the eyeshadow, I'm going back in with my Bobbi Brown highlighter in the shade Afternoon Glow. And I'm just going to be taking a different eyeshadow brush. With this highlighter, you can apply it to your eye with a brush or your finger. But I personally just like to add a little to my eyelid to make the look a little bit more glowy and fresh. And then for some inner corner highlight, I'm going to be taking my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette 5 in the shade number 4 and I'm just going to be taking this as my inner corner highlight right here I love to add a lot of inner corner highlight I think it totally makes the whole look okay and then for my mascara I'm taking the Monsieur Big Lancome mascara and don't even look at my eyelashes right now I used to have eyelash extensions and they kind of just all fell out because I want my eyelashes to breathe but I never got them removed so, there's just a few stragglers left, but we're definitely going to put some mascara on. Okay, moving on to our lips. I'm just adding some Burt's Bees chapstick. I'm going to go in with a lip tint from Bobbi Brown. This is absolutely amazing. It has little sparkles in this lip tint. So, we're just going to do this. And it is so beautiful. Wow, this is so beautiful. I love lip tints because they totally come to life once you put them on. You guys can see how much this lip tint oxidizes once it touches my lips because look at how much more pigmented it is compared to in the bottle, but I love this. This is the Extra Lip Tint in Bare Pink Sparkle. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my everyday makeup routine. I hope you love this look. And if you guys are wanting to get your hands on the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, it is available at Sephora for $46. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want. Bye, I love you.